dear students today i am going to ask you few questions have you ever thought that a rolling ball on the floor stops all of its own but why have you ever thought that when you are moving on a bicycle and instantaneously if you stop pedaling the bicycle then bicycle covers a very few distance and then eventually it stops after covering that distance why question number 3 when you are driving the car and you set off the engine the car first travels a few distance very few distance and then it comes to a stop why so in this lecture we will be looking answers to these questions only you have studied so far that newton's first law says that every body at rest or in the state of uniform motion tries to remain in that state unless and until some external forces applied over that body without the external force you cannot even imagine a body uh, which is initially at rest moving on on all of its own it cannot start moving all by its own a book kept at rest will remain at rest okay a chair kept at rest will remain at rest but this law has a second part too which says that ki agar body uniform motion mein aage ja raha hai to वो यूनिफॉर्म मोशन में आगे जाता जाएगा ये प्लैनेट्स के केस में तो जस्टिफाइड है बट इवेंचुअली व्हाट डू वी सी इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ दैट दिस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल राधर अ मूविंग बॉल स्टॉप्स ऑन इट्स ओन ओके एंड द एग्जांपल्स दैट आई हैड ऑलरेडी गिवन यू सो बेसिकली देर हैज टू बी सम फोर्स विच इज कॉजिंग ऑल दीज फिनोमिनाज टू हैपन That force is called friction. Just see, that force is called friction. Suppose you have a block here, which is kept on horizontal surface. Suppose you are trying to move this block in this direction. So this is the direction of motion, which you are trying to give this to the block. So if this is the direction of motion the block will not move instantaneously if i apply a very small force the things don't move but i am applying the force so where that force is going that force is being balanced by one natural force which is called force of friction remember force of friction always has the opposite direction to the direction of impending motion if the motion is happening here or you are trying to move the object here the friction is opposite if you are trying to move the object here the friction will be along this side so it's always opposite to the direction of motion so friction is the opposing force that comes into play when body tries to move over the surface of the other then we have sliding friction this was sliding friction now we will study the origin of sliding friction so there are two views old view and modern view old view of friction says that roughness of surfaces is the cause of friction see we we can join our hands together we think that we are basically overlapping our hands but can you see that there are so many irregularities in the surface even when you see the surface through a powerful microscope you will find that the surface is not as smooth as it looks when you will join your hands together you will see exactly the overlapping is not there rather some space is left in between so these are the types of surfaces these are known as projections and these are known as depressions these dents so basically 
when one object tries to move over the other object these interlockings these irregularities interlock with each other they badly interlock with each other and when they interlock with each other you would have to apply a force to break those interlockings and to move the object so those interlockings only are the reason of force of friction this is the saying of old view but this view is discarded and it is no longer used i'll tell you why because according to this view interlockings are the reason of friction that the irregularities interlock with each other and that's why what happens friction is there but kya hoga is view ke accordingly to jitna zyada area contact mein aa raha hai ek surface ke utna hi zyada interlockings hone chahiye kyunki utni zyada roughness hogi okay so if those see if this much area is coming in contact this area is having so many irregularities this area is having so many irregularities so these interlockings will happen among the two surfaces and it will be very hard to slide first surface over the second surface but actually mein aisa nahi hota force of friction never depends upon area of contact for example if you have a wooden table here suppose there is a string there is a pulley and this is a weighing pan where you are keeping the weights okay and this is a with uh, i know i hope you must be knowing about origami origami is a technique by which we make something out of paper okay so suppose you have made a paper box here from the front side it's open and from the back side it has it looks like this this is a box right paper box so if you will keep the paper box inverted to aapne kaun sa area yahan pe dal diya hai ye wala jo ki open side hai theek hai to ab aap kya karoge you will try inserting weights over here one weight two weight three weight and after the third weight this string actually is pulled and it pulls this box and this box falls down okay after putting three weights uh, this string cannot handle the weight of these three weights that i have put here and that's why the box slides down ab ab kya karo in the second turn you just keep the box like this so that more area is in contact more area of the box firstly you kept it with the open side in front now you are keeping it like this so so that the more area of the box is in contact with this but even then you will see ki three weights hi lagenge aapko us box ko niche lane mein so this means ki kitna force aap apply kar rahe ho friction ko oppose karne ke liye that is only depending upon the weight of the box and it is independent of the fact that which side of the box you have kept above or below right so what are we understanding from that that friction is actually not dependent on the area which is contact in contact so after that there is one more limitation see now old view says that irregularities are the reason of friction once the irregularities interlock with each other friction is caused but do you know that it's even difficult to walk on ice do you know it's even difficult to walk on the surface which is very very smooth ab smooth surface ki to nahi hoti irregularities so us pe bhi walk karna mushkil kyun hai उस पर इतना फ्रिक्शन क्यों है सो द रीजन दैट यू विल फाइंड आउट इज स्मूथनेस ऑफ सरफेसिस हैज नथिंग टू डू विद दिस ओल्ड व्यू ओके सो बेसिकली इरेग्युलरिटीज आर नॉट द कॉज विद ऑफ फ्रिक्शन राइट दैट्स वाई अ व्यू वॉज गिवन विच इज मॉडर्न व्यू नाउ मॉडर्न व्यू इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ओल्ड व्यू modern view does not talk about irregularities interlockings rather modern view says that if this is the area of contact okay i have joined two hands and this is the area of contact what can i see that actually i can say that my hands are overlapping but actually there are there's a lot of space in between them so they are not exactly overlapping so this means apparent area of contact is this much but actual area of contact is this much where the uh, particular high points are coinciding with each other so this is actual area of contact 
तो अगर एक्चुअल एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट बहुत कम होगा ओके सो प्रेशर विल इंक्रीज बिकॉज प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स अपॉन एरिया दैट मीन्स सरफेसेज आर एक्सर्टिंग सो मच ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन ईच अदर सो दैट्स वाई मॉलिक्यूल्स कम सो 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 क्लोजर टूगेदर दैट दे स्टिक टू ईच अदर एंड वेन दे स्टिक टू ईच अदर दे मेक वेल्डिंग काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन दे आर वेल्डेड टूगेदर सो इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू ब्रेक दोज वेल्ड्स एंड दैट फोर्स इज अप्लाइड फोर्स विच अपोजेज दिस फ्रिक्शन सो दिस इज द मॉडर्न व्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस मॉडर्न व्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन वी कैन एबल टू सॉल्व द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस व्यू इसका सबसे पहला लिमिटेशन था कि एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट का से इंडिपेंडेंट होती है फ्रिक्शन ठीक है एंड इट इज प्रूवन बाय दिस वाई बिकॉज सी इफ यू इंक्रीज एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इफ़ यू इंक्रीज एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट तो वो पॉइंट्स इंक्रीज हो जाएंगे जिस जो कि एक्चुअली में कॉन्टैक्ट में एक दूसरे के साथ तो एरिया आप इंक्रीज कर रहे हो तो क्या होगा फोर्स भी तो इंक्रीज हो रही है फोर्स इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्स बिटवीन द मोलिक्यूल्स राइट सो वेन यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द एरिया द मोलिक्यूल्स आर कमिंग क्लोजर एंड इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्सेज आर इंक्रीजिंग सो प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स अपॉन एरिया तो जितना एरिया इंक्रीज हुआ उतना ही फोर्स इंक्रीज हो गया तो प्रेशर की वैल्यू में कोई चेंज नहीं आया एंड दिस प्रेशर ओनली विच इज नोन एज एडहेसिव प्रेशर दैट प्रेशर ओनली डिसाइड्स द फ्रिक्शन राइट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज स्मूथनेस ऑफ सर्फेसिस हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ फ्रिक्शन वाई अल्ट्रा स्मूथ सर्फेसिस हैव फ्रिक्शन Why? So the reason is when there are ultra smooth surfaces, the intermolecular distance between the molecules decreases. They come closer. When they come closer, the forces increase and pressure is equal to force upon area. So force अगर बढ़ जाती है तो pressure बढ़ जाता है and adhesive pressure जब बढ़ता है तो friction भी बढ़ जाती है. So this is the thing that we need to remember.